Flow coming from the two trickling filters is split by the distribution box and sent to two secondary clarifiers. A variable amount of flow is also sent back to the primary effluent wet well to recirculate the water through the trickling filters. On average, every gallon of wastewater that comes into the treatment plant is pumped two times through the trickling filters. This recirculation allows efficient growth of microbes by ensuring that the trickling filters get a constant wetting rate and that the microbes are always being fed. Then it's off to the secondary clarifiers, which are three times the size of the primary clarifiers. They are round while the primary clarifiers are rectangular. The secondary clarifiers are 80 feet in diameter and 12 feet in depth. They hold 450,000 gallons and have a detention time of one to two hours. The humus is collected at the bottom of the secondary clarifier and pumped back to the headwork so it can be run through the primary process again. The primary sludge and humus mix and co-settle in the primary clarifiers. Once the wastewater passes through the secondary clarifiers, the biological secondary treatment process is complete. Treatment is almost done.